The Iron Dome missile defense system first detects and tracks incoming threats within a 100 km range using radar. It then transfers this data to the battle management control system and the launcher, which relay it to the interceptor. When a specific threat is confirmed, an interceptor missile is launched to destroy the incoming rocket before it reaches the predicted impact area. The interceptor missile uses its electro-optical sensor to track and target the incoming rockets, aiming to get as close as possible to intercept them effectively. We will also look at the basic parts of the Tahir and how it works in step-by-step -step formats and not to forget a short comparison with the Qasam and the Iranian-built Grad rockets, all in the videos ahead so stay tuned and don't miss a beat. The Iron Dome system comprises of three central components. Number one, battle management and weapon control. Number two, missile firing unit. Number three, detection and tracking radar. While a typical Iron Dome battery includes three to four launchers, each capable of holding up to 20 interceptor missiles. Missile firing unit. In this unit, there are 20 Tamer interceptor missiles. A single launcher protects the area of a medium-sized city for strategic installations. It has been reported that each battery is capable of protecting an area of approximately 150 square kilometers, that is approximately 12 by 12 kilometers. Battle Management and Weapon Control, BMC. The control center for the Iron Dome system is responsible for managing the system's operations and coordinating the interception of threats. The system estimates the track threat points at impact and selects to intercept only those that will fall within the protected area. This prevents unnecessary launches against non-threatening targets and makes Iron Dome a very cost-effective defense systems. Detection and Tracking Radar It can detect artillery weapon locations up to 100 km in air defense operational missions. While in air surveillance mode, it can evaluate up to 1,100 targets at once. The Iron Dome, Tahir Interceptor Missile by Rafael can be divided into four distinct sections. The first section encompasses the navigation or guidance system, which plays a critical role in ensuring the missile's accuracy and precision. Moving along the missile, we come to the warhead section. Positioned at the rear of the missile is the solid propellant motor. Lastly, we have the final section, which includes the nozzle and the rear fins. Let's break down the components of this interceptor missile. Starting from the front, we have the radome sections, which play a crucial role in protecting the sensitive components within. Moving further back, the missile is equipped with a multi-seeker mode, featuring electro-optical sensors that control the steering fins at the rear. These sensors enhance the missile's accuracy and targeting capabilities. Just behind it is one of the key features is the proximity fuse designed to intercept short-range threats. This laser-controlled fuse activates when the missile approaches within 10 meters of the target, ensuring precise and timely detonation. The missile is armed with a fragmentation warhead that delivers a powerful punch capable of destroying enemy missiles effectively. All this formidable power is harnessed using a solid fuel propellant, propelling the missile at speeds of around Mach 2, making it incredibly swift and responsive. What's truly intriguing about this small interceptor missile is its impressive range, covering approximately 4 to 70 kilometers, which translates to roughly 43 miles. This extensive range allows it to engage and neutralize threats at various distances, further enhancing its versatility and effectiveness. The Tahir missile boasts a length of approximately 9.3 feet, with a diameter measuring 166 millimeters or 6.3 inches, and it carries a weight of around 198 pounds or 90 kilograms. To provide some perspective and help us grasp its dimensions, let's consider a size comparison with a human being. As you can observe, the missile does not appear excessively large when placed next to a person. Furthermore, this is the Patriot Air Defense Missile, which has been featured in our recent videos and the formidable S-400 missile system. It is here that the Tahir missile's relative dimension becomes even more apparent. The correct comparison in this case would be with missiles like the locally produced Kwasem missile and not to be overlooked, the Iranian Grad missiles, which have a range of approximately 50 to 70 miles. Since these missiles are locally manufactured, the Kwasem comes in various shapes and sizes, reflecting the adaptability and versatility of their production. In this animation, multiple Kwasem or Phaedra 5 rockets are launched from the opposition side, intentionally designed to overwhelm the Iron Dome missile defense systems. For this scenario, let's take a look how the Iron Dome missile defense system works in basic step-by-step -step formats. Step 1. 
Radar detects and tracks the threat from a 100 kilometers radius. Step 2. The data is transferred from the radar to the battle management control system to the launcher and from the launcher to the interceptor. The system estimates the track threat points of impact and selects to intercept only those that will fall within the protected area. Step 3. Only when that threat is determined, an interceptor missile is fired to destroy the incoming rocket before it reaches the predicted impact area. Step 4. The missile will track and target the rockets with its electro-optical sensor and get as close to the incoming threat as possible. Consider three scenarios. Scenario 1. The Iron Dome missile is designed to strike its target head-on from the front. When it reaches the assigned target, its advanced sensors and laser system are activated. This activation triggers the proximity fuse warhead, loaded with fragmentation rounds within a range of just 10 meters from the target, ensuring maximum damage upon impact. Scenario 2. While in motion, the missile can intercept incoming threats at a 60-degree angle. Onboard sensors trigger the fragmentation warhead, allowing it to effectively intercept off-center threats. Scenario 3. However, intercepting a target at a 90-degree angle leads to a higher failure rate, this occurs because the fragmentation from the warhead scatters away from the incoming rockets, compromising interception effectiveness. In short, it has its pros and cons for comparison. The Hamas Kwasam missile costs a mere $80, while the Iranian Grad missile costs around $1,000. On the other hand, the Iron Dome Interceptor missile costs a staggering $50,000, and one single battery in the Iron Dome costs around $150 million. But with a reported 90% success rate, I guess some things are just priceless. In our next video, we are going to look at how the Qasam missile and the Iranian missile works. We make original animation videos just like this Attack Cargo 130 gunship in Blender software. Support us by subscribing and hitting the bell icon for more engineering videos to come.